I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I try not to think about it. Lost? Oh. Emotions? Well, I guess it's the sensible thing to do. I just don't know if I'd be able to. But then again, after what you've been through... Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I'm bitter. I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here Did about you just say Megan. among us? About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. I guess she passed down he her, uh... Things weren't handled by the book. Oh, eyeshadow predilection no to her daughter. Must be and genetic condition. I'll find out more. I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same. You and Adam. me both, Grandma. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what Love. really happened to her? Should I expect some form of compensation for this? Ooh. Adam, you're... You're serious, aren't you? My God, this isn't who you used to be. I thought a chance to know what really happened to Megan, what really happened to you, would have been enough. Would have been worth your time. Adam Jensen doesn't give a fuck. But I'll do it. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. <laughs> really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. <laughs> So that, uh, the question about compensation, the answer was, uh, was no, no comp, no, okay. Well, all right then. Hey, you want to scrounge to the trash? You can find 42 credits. <laughs> What's up here? Uh, nothing. You never know. Uh, I'm not going to scratch every trash can. Although, oh, that's awesome. Hey, remember all those beers and shit I drank? Yeah, it's gone now. Good times. Anyways, we're going to go to the limb clinic. Well, first, we're going to go to this weirdly conspicuous abandoned gas station. Right in the middle of Detroit, where this guy's selling illegal guns. I'm gonna read his book. You got anything you wanna buy or sell? I'm the guy you wanna deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. 
The weirder thing is, you don't even talk to them, you only use the computer. But you have to talk to them to, like, activate the... I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways. I need this. Oh, yeah. Oh, with... Bye in a second. I just wanted once I get some more inventory space, just wanted to clear out some space. I for one approve of these protests. Great. Muslim people are <laughs> It's always looking down. Mr. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, though. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Sarah did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage yeah. caused by the hematoma had this to be taken into account. This is them explaining level up. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural I guess, processors. Uh, I guess it's better than not explaining it. Over time. Cut but... to the chase, Doc. <laughs> what does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. Yeah, I don't prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name. Thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. Alright, let's go, Natasha. Hells yes. Two levels. Um, hypostims are amazing. Get as many of them as possible. I'll get some of this later. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Yeah, I will. Uh, because... Hey, look, book. Uh, they give you 50 health over top of your 100. Um, up to a maximum of 200. But the key with them is... They will... Hey, 200 experience, yay. Instantly, raise your health to 150 from any number. So, when I get shot, I'm down at 30 health again. I can just use a hypostem and get right back at the 150. This prevents that from happening. Speaking of which, I'm going to put them in my inventory. Emails. Just so happens that one computer in the back here is all about me. Just the three emails that are on it. How clever. Alright, I'm gonna spend those points. Finish off my dermal armor. And get some inventory space because I need it. Protesting is not against the law. Sure it is. No. Adam! Oh. Are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. 
Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. What's your... I'm buying. Hells yes, damage upgrade. This is for shotguns, so... Don't need it. These are sweet. They, uh, just See you soon. automatically hack things. I think they're, like, for the special edition only. Whatevs. Uh, but they are pretty handy. That I'm gonna use on my combat rifle when I get it. Grayson hooked me up with some real tight merch. Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in the prison shower. It is a very uh, high-profile case. Yeah. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... this was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned well, down by ranking officers. Look at Jimmy McNulty People over here. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Finding a Surely second life. Have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. Out of the shit. I started poking around, but these and government type job. agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got a scared. A job. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Well, well, while you're there. There was an officer assigned hmm, to the case, yeah, Chuck going there anyway. He's not what you call a choir boy. But not for a little bit. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily. But I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. <laughs> His office is on the third and floor. I need to get my hacking up. There to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please... Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad that's to quest help, efficiency. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. Uh, how did you get assigned to this case? I didn't push for it, if that's what you mean. To be honest, I didn't want to get involved. Why not? I was an honest cop, Jensen. I always tried to conduct myself in accordance with the law, with procedures, and what I believed was right. They always not say really that. Not really the standard MO for a case like this. I'm a crooked 